The new year is just hours away, so right now is the perfect time to take a look back on our busy 2019 here at KSNT. It's been another busy year for KSNT, starting off first thing, ringing in the new year with thousands gathered in Aggieville for our live broadcast of the Little Apple Drop in Manhattan. Brooke Lennington and I once again served as MCs of the JA Business Hall of Fame Gala in February. We grabbed our trays and waited tables at the annual Blarney Breakfast in March. And through the spring, we hosted several weather radio programming events across Northeast Kansas to get you ready for the storm season. Unfortunately, those came in handy on a few occasions when numerous tornadoes formed and KSNT brought you the coverage and live feed of those storms on air and streaming online. We brought you back to Memphis to get a closer look at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital as a part of our Dream Home Giveaway, where once again, a lucky winner walked away with nearly a half million dollar home, raising three quarters of a million dollars for St. Jude. And we just want to give you a $25 gift card and we'll help pay for that. You, you On May that? Day, we decided to surprise people with random acts of kindness, buying gas, groceries, surprising teachers and more. Just our way of spreading some good cheer. This year, Brooke and Jace tore up the dance floor, winning the Casa Lip Sync Battle as well. We hit the links to support several charity events at their golf tournaments, but just please don't ask us to relive how bad our game is. We helped celebrate independence with Wamigo in an amazing fireworks spectacular and brought you the sounds of sundown salute in Junction City. The whole station took part in our annual Founders Day activities volunteering all day long at area nonprofit agencies. We partnered with Family Service and Guidance Center for their annual Works of Heart auction, helping to raise over $100,000 and still found time for a parade or two, or actually a whole bunch of them. Four Christmas parades, St. Patrick's Day parade, Fiesta Mexicana parade, the Wamigo Fourth of July parade, and even kicked off another great season of Winter Wonderland. And we plan to bring you more of our pledge to live local as we love being part of your lives and our communities. For those of you who welcome us into your homes every evening, thank you. Your viewership is why we do what we do every day. And if you just happen to be catching us tonight and aren't normally a viewer, I've got your New Year's resolution. Make the switch to the team that truly loves living local and having some fun together. We hope to share more great events with you in 2020.